Okay, we are back with uh, Haris Harun, and uh, if you are not sure about what's happening here, I have got to tell you that uh, this is done via Zoom, those of you listening in, so if you do hear any problems with the audio, please forgive me. Uh, obviously, this is uh, times where we have to do this, and we have to be a little bit creative. So, we have uh, Haris with me, and yep. uh, we are going to talk to Aris about the Singapore national team. Now, 24th June 2007 must be a date, a year, and a moment to remember for you and the Harun family. Now, tell us why. I made my debut for the national team. <laughs> 24 June, right? Yeah. Yes, and uh, yes. what was the feeling like? Were you, uh, I, I think you came on as a substitute. Was that right against North Korea? Yes, yes, I came, yes, yeah. So what was the feeling it was, like? It was special. Uh, I mean, to, to be involved in the match this squad itself was, I was rubbing my eyes. I couldn't believe it, but you know, it all settled. And I thought I had uh, control of myself. I had, I had, I had everything under control until Randy told me to warm up. I started <laughs> to have the nerves and I, I had the, go and, uh, yeah, having goosebumps when I'm talking about this right now, but, uh, and I was warming up and when he called me to come over to the bench to, to get into the game, I was like really. Things happened so fast, it was like a blur, you know, and next moment I was already on the field, running, shooting balls, you know, passing, and getting involved, so, so it was, uh, it was really memorable, uh, yeah. I'll not forget that moment, uh, of course it was at the old Kalang Stadium, Yes. it wasn't a full house game, but uh, I think we had a decent crowd and we won the game, so I think it was a memorable it outing. Must, it must be a very proud moment for your dad, yeah, and, and your parents obviously, uh, was there a, a lot yes, of uh, I think they, hugging and... They were there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were not the we are not the the hugging and we don't show so much of uh, yeah. affection in that way. But yeah. you know, I know that he was my parents were proud to to see me uh, to don the 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 national jersey at, at that age. I was Lovely. still in sec five. So, a very uh, fast yeah. one, very fast one. Ready gave you your debut. Uh, how is Ready? Just just in a few or one or two sentences. How was oh, it? Ready, like? Ready was like a like a father figure. He's he's the, he's very much like. Like Kadi, yeah. But of course, he's, he's he's much older and he's like a father figure. So you know, yes. he knows when to put that arm around you and when to you know fire straight at you. So that's how he was. Yeah, great, great. Uh, I think you never look back since, right? Uh, you have been a mainstay in the team except for times when you were injured, obviously. Uh, tell me what drives you on. You know what really drives you on. Now this is uh the hustle. The show is about the hustle. It's about yeah. working hard. It's about yeah. being consistent. Yeah. It's about yeah. It doesn't matter what happens. You got to work hard. That is the only way yeah, where you're gonna yeah, succeed, yeah. and that's how I feel. What what drives you on? To, yeah, I to think, be even in the I national I, team right now. Yeah, I think it was it was it was a dream of mine to be in the national team when I was a young boy. So when I decided to to you know actually pursue football all along, I mean all the way to make it a career, uh, I had the backing of my parents. That was very important. So yeah. I I knew that I didn't I I don't have to look back. I don't have to think about oh what if I what if they don't allow me to play football? And that was very important for me. And from mm. then on, I was just focused. I was just, uh, uh, you know, national, the national team was, was winning at that point of time. And, and I went to the games to watch them. So I was motivated to be part of part of the, the national team. And I wanted to play for the national team. Uh, but I didn't expect it to happen so soon at 16. And, and being involved in the national setup, I think I had a lot of figures, a lot of people around me that, that you know, put me in the right path. You know, a lot of good people, uh, the players, the management, and and you know, I felt like just like I mentioned before about my teacher in Sec Five. I just felt that I didn't, I, I couldn't disappoint all these people who had a lot of faith and, and trust in. Any, me. I just wanted to go out there. Any players that, uh, especially that that took you on board and and gave you special advice, you know, like like just put around uh, an arm around your shoulder and said, hey, uh, you know, you, you're young, but. You know, there's a long yeah. way to go. Things like that. Has has there any been anyone? Uh, yes, I think uh, there's a lot of figures. There, there's not one, any one particular person, but I think generally a lot of them were very nice to me. I think Ismail Yunus was one of the yeah. the first ones to to come and, and speak to me and ask how how everything was going, and he always looked out for me. And uh, I think uh, uh, ID was captain then. Indra yeah. also was was captain during my time in the national team. So they were really nice and and to play with uh, somebody like Mustafi Parudin, you know, who oh, he was course. always there, trying to guide me and help me. It was really easy and, and and nice to play play with him. So 
So all these figures, and of course, you know, national team manager Eugene Ruddy, you know, all the yeah. likes of these guys, uh, set me up really well to to go go on. And I just I really had the I just had this mentality from then on, just to you know, not to look back, just to go and push as far as I can. Because of course, when you when I had injuries, the 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 long term ones, uh, yeah. I was young, but you know, it just made me realize how how short a football career can be. Yeah. So I just wanted to to make. You know, for as long as I'm playing, to make the best of it, and and uh, to you know, so when I stop one day, I look back and I say, you know, I did well for myself, for my family, and that, that's something I can be proud of. Yeah. I I think that is very important because uh, you yeah. need people good like like you just said just now, good people around you. Yeah. You know, if it for you yeah. to really keep on the straight path, because I remember when yeah. a very very long time back when I was playing in the Premier League even before the S League started, and that's how yeah. old I am by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing in the, in the Premier League, and uh, I think I was only 17. I broke into the the first team in the Premier League, and yeah. I remember playing. And then uh, the, after the next few days, there there was this foreigner, uh, the a foreigner who was playing in that team, and he said, "So yeah. so how is it, Sasa? How has it been?" I said, "It's good, not too bad, you know." And uh, I thought it was easy, you know. He just said, "Yeah, it's good. So far, so good." And then he said, "Remember, it is always easy to break into the team, but to stay yeah. there." Now that that is the much yes, difficult yes. part of things, you know, to stay yeah, there to do yeah. things consistently because consistency will make you great, right? You look at all yeah, the best yeah. uh, performers in the world, the uh, Michael Jordans yes, and, yes. and what have you. They they do it consistently. The and greats, by the way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. by the way, please watch the Last Dance on uh, on Netflix on on Michael Netflix. Jordan. Yeah, I was just thinking of starting on on that one. I just saw. Yeah, yeah watch yeah. that. It's a it's a superb show. Now just just moving yeah. on, right? About the national team, do you think that it's easy now to break into the national team? Um, I feel it is. <laughs> I I think it's it's uh because we don't have a settled uh, team. We had a couple of uh, coaches uh, over the past years, so I I don't know. I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's a transitional period where the coaches are trying players. Yeah, you know they are they're trying point. trying players around. So I I think. When when we have a period of success and where we have this group of players, uh, you know, bringing success, then it's going to be a lot difficult to break into the team. But then again, we need players coming through. We need a huge players to keep the players on the toes, and 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 that's what we 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 are a little bit struggling compared to our neighbors because we have a small pool. Yeah. So players can tend to get a little bit comfortable and and easy at times. But uh, but that's what it is. We we have to find. We are we are unique because. Of uh, who we are, we are Singapore. We are small. We have national service. We have unique situations, you know, in our case. So perfect. that's yeah, how we yeah, have to yeah. make do. Yeah. To, yes, to, it's to uh, it. I think it's perfectly summarized there. I think we we are definitely yeah. in a in a unique situation because I see people yeah. uh, still talking about the NS issue, the 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 small pool yeah. of uh, issue, but yeah. nothing yeah. is going to take that away, right? It's it's going to be. Yes. I mean, it's forever. it's it's going to be there. We yes. we can. Uh, I mean, I for one. Uh, I'm not saying this because we are we are live or record, but I I for one believe that every every male uh, athlete or even footballer to be exact has to go through national service. Yeah. But it's just about how uh, we can work around it, you know. True. So if you're Singaporean and you have as, as, aspirations to mm-hmm. you know play for the country for the national team, you have to go through national service. And uh, but you know we have to to be serious here in the sense that like. For athletes, uh, generally we have to find a way how they can train, but at the same time fulfill their NS obligations. Because, to be honest, if you don't play football for two years, there's yeah, a lot and it can affect a player's development. So, but on a, on another side note, you have to fulfill NS because it has lots of values and benefits, you know, in terms of discipline and how you carry yourself about. So I think it can go hand in hand, but we have to just find the right balance. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's well put. It's wonderfully said. I I think I've already got yeah. some uh, quotable uh, stuff from you already. Just one liners, and that is that is great. And uh, by the way, yeah. you're not working for Mindef, are you? No, no, I'm not. This is just no, no, my I'm just personal kidding. opinion. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just yeah, kidding. This, Relax. This is what I thought. <laughs> I mean, ever ever since like how yeah. how the issue with. Uh, Uh, ben Davis and and, and uh, all this stuff that came out came about, you know. I I always had this opinion. I, people who talk to me about this issue, I always tell them this thing. You know, we just have to try to to, and, and also on the other hand, the players need to know that right, it's not uh, uh something that we can take advantage of. You know, if you yes. need to go for training, you have to make use of it, do your best, and and go back to wherever you have to go back. Yeah. True. True. Very true. Well done. Now, uh, I see progress in the Singapore national team 
lately in the World Cup qualifiers, uh, yeah. I I did all of the commentary on uh, on the yeah. matches so far uh, with yeah. uh, Tatsuma. Do you say good things? Of course. Obviously, you haven't watched it. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't watched it. Of nah, course, but, <laughs> because you, you were playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you you could have watched yeah. it on. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It that that is why I mentioned it because I think you guys have. I don't know. I see. I see progress. I see yeah. players who are playing with a little bit of freedom. Is there a reason why, yeah. or what? What? What is it? Yeah, I think I think it's a bit refreshing how his approach, how Coach Tatsuma's approach, and and uh, philosophy is for the national team. Uh, I mean, for me personally, I think uh, it's something similar to how my club side JDT plays the style. Okay. Just a little bit uh, different variation here and there. You know, not too much, but it's, it's very similar. And I think the boys have taken well to him. I think he's Japanese. Uh, he's very serious about, you know, how Japanese are serious about can you, football. Uh, can, can you just tell us just one thing which is different in terms of the the football that you play? Not, nothing to do with the motivational part, but in terms of the football. Yeah, I maybe think just one thing. I think he just, he, he he's not afraid to actually play the same style uh, against the big boys. Okay. You know, so okay. for example, like when we played uh, Saudi and, and uh, Uzbekistan, yeah, uh, we played the same style. But of okay. course, we cannot be so naive to actually. When you say when you say go... when you say style, it's not formations, right? Or is it because there's a difference? Uh, no, 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 no. Style. What I mean is like when you have the ball to, to yeah, okay, closer together, okay, to play to okay. give you know support and and because previously it's like when you play the big boys. You have like rocks in your boots, you know. Like you pass the ball and you stand. <laughs> it's like now you are passing you to to move to help your teammate. You bring yeah. the ball forward as a team. You're not yes. getting one guy who's gonna take the yes. ball and dribble and try to bring something or do something hopeful. So I think that's what he has introduced, and uh, we we're seeing the the fruits fruits of uh, of that. Yes. And hopefully we can continue that and 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 be better in the coming years. Yes, I think I think we should build on it because I I I truly yeah. feel that that there has been some progress, some improvement. Yes. I think he has been yeah. good for the team. The 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 Japanese yeah. coach, obviously, again with peop when when he first came in, there's lots of criticism yeah. and, you know, yes, I I yes. think unwanted ones as well. Uh, all the yeah. keyboard warriors. So I think he's done well. Keep mm -hmm. this up. Now this should be yeah. fun, right? It, a very quick one before we go to our final part. Some national team questions, okay? Mm -hmm. And you've got to give yep. me only one answer, and that's it. Yep. <laughs> one name. One okay. name. It's yeah. only names, right? Yeah. Okay. Your favorite national team yeah. coach. Ready Abramovich. Best player technically. Technically, um, Shari Shak. Best defender. Safan. Best midfielder. Uh, Farudin Mustafi Farudin. Best striker. This is tough. <laughs> um, I would say uh, Noor Amsha. Best dressed. Ooh, best dressed. You're from Pandi. Worst dressed. Uh, <laughs> I just say Hanapi. <laughs> I'm 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 so tempted. No, no, I'm I'm so tempted to ask why, but never mind. Best free kick yeah. taker. Oh, this is close. This has to be between Shaiful and uh, Shaiful Isa and Shadan. Uh, I'll go with Shaiful for this one. Yeah. Nice. Very well done. Uh, yeah. I won't ask why about Yase. Okay, you you settle this with Yase yourself. <laughs> okay. He's my roommate. I got a lot of questions to answer. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back for part four with JDT and a little bit about yeah. in your your injury setbacks. Yeah, Haris. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back. Okay.